Mark and his daughter Katie were getting ready to join the group gathered for a historical tour of St. Augustine, starting at the Huguenot Cemetery. Mark was chatting with the tour guide when he noticed that Katie wasn't by his side. He gave a quick glance around and spotted her by the cemetery gate, having a conversation with its large granite post. Big imagination on that one, Mark said to the tour guide, who chuckled in return. Mark excused himself from the conversation and walked over to Katie, who was still conversing with her new pet gate. Hey Katie, who you talking to? He asked the nine-year-old, who responded by putting her index finger in the air, the universal gesture to wait a minute. Mark started to say something, but thought better of it. A moment went by, and Katie turned to him. I was talking to the girl in the dress, she informed him in a manner that was so matter-of-fact that he almost forgot she hadn't actually been talking to anybody. Oh yeah? he asked. And what did she have to say? Katie shrugged. She was weird. She told me to beware of Jack, but didn't tell me who Jack was, Katie explained. Well, if we meet any Jacks, we'll be sure to avoid them at all costs, Mark said as he took his daughter by the hand. The tour was starting, and they were missing it. As the duo reached the group, the tour guide was talking about the yellow fever epidemic. He talked about the old gatekeeper, tasked with the duty of warning people of the infected city, and he talked about his daughter, who took over for him after he died. We refer to it as yellow fever today, but that's not what they called it back then, the tour guide explained. Back then, the people referred to it as yellow jack. Mark shuddered and looked at his daughter, who didn't return a glance. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw someone walk past the cemetery gate. He turned to see a young girl in a dress, waving at him. He looked at Katie, who was also looking at the gate, waving back. But when Mark looked back at the gate, nobody was there.